obviously you had to be a heck of an agent to have a movie. And a lot of kids, if they're not listening, they gotta understand, they gotta see this Jerry Maguire movie. And this movie was damn near based off of you. Uh, how did that movie come about and why? Um, first of all, to your point about teams, um, if the reason that I had different relationship with owners is I tried to see the world the way they saw it. So um, Dan Rooney and I bonded over the fact I was trying to save the Rams. So, you know, I've had dinner at his house. I've watched a game from his box. I said, look, our battle is not labor versus management. Our battle in football is with basketball, baseball, home box office, Netflix, Walt Disney World, and every other form of discretionary entertainment spending. So let's not have stupid public negotiations or bad collective bargaining. Let's just build the brand and see how much revenue we get in. So that gave me a different relationship. As to uh, Jerry Maguire, in 1993, uh, Cameron Crowe, who was the director and writer of the movie, called me up and said, could I follow you around? Could I to do a movie that had an agent in the center? And so he went to the 1993 uh, draft with me where Drew Bledsoe was the first pick and my client. He went to the league meetings where I was showing off a safety named Tim McDonald. He came to USC Scouting Day. He came to my Super Bowl parties. It, this went on for a couple of years. And then I had to vet the script which is to make sure that if you're a sports fan, the dialogue doesn't read phony or sound phony. The look of everything is right. The look of a pro scouting day is right. Um, and then he gave me some of the actors to work with. So I took Cuba Gooding Jr. down to the Phoenix Super Bowl and I made him pretend he was a wide receiver all week. So he had to hang with Desmond Howard and uh, Amani Toomer. And uh, so he just pretended he was an athlete. And I, you know, we had, uh, I worked with the actors and I actually had to show the quarterback in the film played by um, Jerry O'Connell how to throw a spiral because he had gone to NYU and they didn't have a football program. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, anyway, there, it's been a fun 21, 22 years. Of, I never walk out in public at an airport or for dinner where someone doesn't rush up to the table and either ask me to say or says those four words and start with show me the money. <laughs> that's, See, the, that's, Lee, a, that's a classic. I, 